Hi there, Richard Matheneau here. Now today's training is going to help you if you have a fear or a resistance against things such as, you know, you should kind of call somebody, pick up the phone to them, but you know, you just don't go through with it. Or maybe you're out and about and you meet someone who you think, wow, they would be great in your brain for your business, but then you let that opportunity pass. You never actually invite them or have a conversation with them about it. It's just that resistance within you. This is absolutely going to help you. So today was a really good day for me. You know, I'm, I'm a full-time home business owner, so I got to take my daughter to school, bring her home. It was a music concert today and a swimming lesson. So I, got to, I get to play a part in all of that, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Now, a huge fear of mine when I first started, before I went full-time, was what if I never actually achieve that? What happens if I don't take the actions that lead me to be able to play that part in my daughter's life? I didn't have a father growing up. I definitely wanted to feel like I rectified that with my child. Now, you don't have to be a parent, but what I want you to do as a reflex is when you feel that resistance and that bad fear of, I know I should do this action, but I'm just apprehensive to do that, like picking up the phone, something like that. I want you to, as a reflex, train your mind to replace that with a bigger fear a bigger, grander fear that's actually going to sweep that one aside and push you to do that action that you wouldn't do without reminding yourself of that. So next time you feel that you should have a conversation with somebody, maybe your fear is, what happens if this person really needs my help and I take the opportunity away from them by never even showing them it? How am I going to feel about that? Or maybe your fear is that you can't stand your job and it's driving you crazy and spoiling relationships in your life because of the stress. What happens if you allow that situation to continue? Where is that going to lead you in your life and relationships? That's obviously going to be a bigger fear than making a telephone call. So again, as a reflex, start to make this a habit of yours. Remind yourself of why you're doing this. Remind yourself of those larger fears. And you'll find you'll be doing those smaller fears without a second thought because it'll become a habit to overcome them very, very quickly. So I hope you've gained some benefit from that. I'll stick beneath here. Go over to my blog if you're not already watching or listening to this on my blog. And I'll stick one of my favorite little mini courses on overcoming fear and procrastination. Because the two are very much tied together. I'm sure you can see that from this short video. Uh, it's by a buddy of mine. I really enjoyed that course. It helped me smash through some, some goals and have some breakthroughs in my own business. Uh, it's not it's it's pretty it's pretty cheap as well for definite compared to, uh, to a lot of courses out there. Really help you if you're having a sticking point with this issue. And you need more than this two or three minute video to help you overcome that. So I'll catch you really soon. Go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. Break free of that fear. It's very liberating when you do and you'll stretch and grow and be really proud of yourself. And I'm sure those around you will be proud of you as well. I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.